you become your dad, like whether or not you want to. I can hear myself all the time saying things that I remember my dad saying uh, when I was a kid. I repeat those things to my kids. My dad was a farmer and on a farm you work seven days a week. And what I picked up from my father is a very good work ethic. One that he would always say is, are you going uptown or are you going downtown? So what that really means is what type of mentality do you have? Do you have the mentality that wants to be successful or do you want to be like the rest of anybody and everybody else? Anytime that my kids say something corny, uh, they know that it's from me and I just know it's from my own dad, right? Like character passes down. He loved comic books movies, games. It definitely made me who I am today, which is a geek and a nerd, and I am not ashamed of it <laughs> at all. Both my grandfather and my father had a great love for the unusual, and in this case, it was the $2 bill, and then later, the gold $1 coin. Now, you never knew when you were gonna receive one of these. As I look at these so many years later, I'm constantly reminded of a father's love. Uh, the second thing he would say to me is, use your head for more than a hat rack. Like every time he was going to the bathroom, you could hear him singing from the toilet, stranded, stranded on the toilet bowl. So take it like a man and wipe it with your hand. Stranded, stranded on the toilet bowl. And so like, of course, my kids now know that song because I sing it too. Um. <laughs> My dad is amazing. He's always been my biggest cheerleader through everything. And whenever something new comes up, he hits me with some great advice. And he hit me with this. If you don't have time to do it right, when will you have time to do it ever? It really made me rethink my priorities. And that's just him. He's always helping me learn. I am so grateful for my dad for instilling the Word of God into my heart at a young age and continuing to do so even today. I wouldn't be where I am now and my children wouldn't be without the influence from him and the Word of God that has been planted in our hearts.